All right, welcome guys to Hula Hen. This evening we're gonna do a quick video and we're gonna walk around the Zakeda Night Market. Now, the last time I came down, this was closed. This is kind of a, it's a little bit different than the, uh, the night market that's in the main part of town. This is quite a bit further south and uh, there's a market and they have a lot more like arts and crafts and more like higher end stuff instead of like the cheap souvenirs. So anyway, let's walk around and take a look and see what we see. So it's just south of where the, the main road, the Highway 4, kind of turns off to the right. And it's uh, still parallel. I mean, uh, Huahin Beach is just down behind. You're not too far. And it's uh, it's probably like uh, 10 minutes or so south of like where the train station's at. So let's uh, let's see what all they have. They have a, like a, a ring of uh, like knickknack stalls and then they have like a, a food court inside. Okay, so here's all the uh, the food options. So here you actually have to buy coupons over there, and then you uh, you buy the food from uh, each little individual like vendor on the inside. So it's like if you go to the mall here. This looks like uh, has some chicken on a stick. So or that's pork. Wow, those are 65 baht. Normally those uh, individual skewers like this are 10 baht each. So here she has. Uh, some more. These are like the mousse saute. So you can get the, let's see here, you can get seven of them for 65 baht. Onion rings, little deep fried shrimp, the spring rolls. So here they have a manual press. So he's pressing out the squid into the flat little uh, like chips that you see there. And she has the charcoal set up to grill it. And if you buy it, they have the seasoning, everything there. So it's quite a process to make that as flat as it is. So they're, here they have like the tom yum. And she's making it over here. So they're grilling up some uh, broccoli, some mushrooms, some little kebabs. This actually look really nice. So the pork is 45 baht, the chicken's 45, the vegetable's 40. And if you get the bacon with the sausages, like this right here, those are 55 baht. He's walking up like a, looks like some gapow, smells like it. Which the gapow is like the Thai basil. Looks pretty good. And then she's putting it on the rice right over there. You can get a kai gao with the fried egg. And it's 75 baht, 10 baht for the fried egg. So the prices are a little bit higher than what you'd normally see. Normally the Kapow is like 40 or 50 baht, so 75 baht is a little higher, but you're at a night market. And some Pad Thai with the soy. And he has some over there with the egg. Making like the Kai Jiao. So the Pad Thai is 85 baht. So here she's making up some Hoi Tot. It's the fried egg and then like the, uh, the little clam stuff. All right, so you can get a set of this shrimp right there. So big, four of those big uh, shrimp and he will barbecue them right there. So those are about $7.50, 250 baht. Okay, so here they're grilling up the little snails. So they eat those with a toothpick. So they'll just dig the snail right out with a toothpick and dip it in some chili and eat it. And then they have the uh, clams. So that's, this is 150 baht. So it's like roughly like $5 for, for those. And you can see the other seafood he has. So the mussels are 125 baht. And it has some more of these clams. So we've got some grilled up uh, white snapper, which is the sea fish. And then you have the tilapia. So the like the white sea fish right here is about ten dollars, and the tilapia is about uh, like six, six, seven dollars. And what they do is they stuff it with some like herbs, and then they just slow cook it around the uh, charcoal. And it's quite nice. You just eat the whole fish. You just peel the skin back and pull the bones out, and just eat it. And it's uh, very, very nice. So it looks like somebody's getting that fish. 
and you eat it with some uh, rice and you have some chili and they cook it with some rock salt on the outside. He's actually gonna pull the skin off. And look at that, it's got some very nice white meat. So you have the desserts here, you're making the crepes, you have like the waffles. So here's a Thai dessert that they do. They do like the shaved ice and then they put the uh, toppings on top of it. You get like the lychee, you can get like the uh, the longan, you can get everything. Got some mangoes and sticky rice. She's peeling the mangoes right here. And they put that like syrup on it. And you can see this is all the sticky rice. And then you pour like the coconut milk on top of it. It's very delicious. The sweet mangoes when they're in season is very, very nice. This is a finished product. So those are a hundred baht for a little container of that. You can get the dried mango paste for 40 baht, so they have some of that over here. Okay, so here they're making the uh, Kanom Pro, which is like the little coconut pancake. And then they can put different toppings in it. They can put like taro, corn, onions, even shrimp, anything that they want. So usually you get about, well here they're selling uh, 10 of them for uh, 40 baht. So they have the coconut cake with onion, coconut, the original sweet corn taro and sweet potato yeah so there's a lot to the food court you can see how it kind of sprawls out it has plenty of seating it's a really nice thing and it's uh, pretty nice out here in the cool evening the heat of the day is past yeah this was closed when i came over christmas so it's nice to see that they reopened and i think right now it's only open like friday saturday and sunday nights but i could be wrong okay so it rings the uh, food court you have all of these little shops selling the normal stuff that you see at a market you'll see clothes jewelry but like I said before this market is a little higher end than what you see you know, along the street they do have the cheap stuff but they do have a lot more like of the uh, the artists doing things and there's a lot of people out here tonight so this is really good this is busier than the uh, night market when I went to uh, the night market downtown. So they have candles. They smell nice. And what trip to Hua Hin would be complete without a uh, Hua Hin t-shirt? Sunglasses, coffee cups, scarves, handbags. A nice thing to do after being on the beach all day is come over here and uh, do some shopping. Here's some coffee cups. Get some with some cats and dogs and monkeys. Get the ukulele. And the only snow you'll see in Thailand from the uh, snow globe. Bracelets. Making some uh, little bracelets, handmade bracelets and necklaces. I don't know if this would fit into your uh, luggage or not. But I'm sure they ship it like they do if you go to Jatcha Jack Market in Bangkok and ship this. Uh, furniture home there's tons and tons of these little shops this is pretty fun they have some antiques here they have the little amulets the guy over there playing some of the old music jewelry paintings the guy making uh, like transformers by hand
เพื่อเป็นการแสดงสดสิ่งที่จะขาดไม่ได้เลยนั่นก็คือการสนับสนุนจากคุณผู้ชมที่นี่ปรบมือดังๆรัวๆให้กับคุณกองบัญชีพรบชครับAll right, guys. That finishes our little walk around here at the Zakata Night Market. It's a lot of fun. It's uh, something to do definitely after spending all day on the beach. As you can see from me, I got a little bit of sun on my nose. So uh, anyway, hopefully you liked the video. If you did, make sure you click like and uh, subscribe to my channel. The subscriptions is really what I need. So uh, you can do me a big favor by subscribing to the channel. That also makes it to where you get notified when I post a new video. Uh, that I post a lot of content. It, you know, I try to do a video every day or however uh, often I have I can make one. So the subscription gets you notified so you can see the new content that I post. And if you've been here or if you want to come, leave me a comment down below. Tell me what you think. If you haven't been and you want to come, leave me a comment about it or whatever. All right, so as always guys, remember, life is a journey. So from Huihin, have a good day and enjoy.